Hi. So far, we have examined pretty basic examples with running tasks against just a single device. In some cases, even such functionality can ease your life, but the real power of Ansible resides in its ability to run against multiple devices at the same time. So today we will try to run some commands against four routers simultaneously. To do that, at first we need to update our inventory file. Here is my terminal. Here is our ansible.cfg, which is uh, the same one uh, which, we use, uh, which we used in our previous videos, previous labs. Now we need configure, uh, inventory file, sorry. Obviously, we need to specify all the routers we wish to configure, all four of them. As you remember, for all the devices, we also need correct credentials for SSH. But if credentials are the same, which is probably the case for the real world environment, we may want to specify them just once, not four times for each router separately. Groups of hosts and groups variable can help us with that task. At first, let's place all our routers into a group called routers. Then let's create groups variables. We need to specify group name. Then we need to place colon. And then type, uh, type vars. And now we need to specify actual variables. For our case, uh, they are ansible user, which equals to admin, and ansible password which is also admin. Such simple and elegant syntax allows, allows us to manage huge number of devices very easily. Now let's create our playbook. I will call it test1.yaml. It will be pretty simple, so we can examine Ansible's execution behavior. As usual, we need to specify scope. It is routers for this case. We need to disable fact gathering and change connection type to local. Next, uh, we will simply execute show clock command and print output of that command. Also, we need to register output of show clock and our second task uh, will output results of that variable. So I guess uh, we are good here and we can try to execute our playbook. And it was executed successfully. But now let's pay attention to Ansible's behavior during that execution. Let's execute it one more time. And please pay attention. Let's go one more time. And my point here is that Ansible connects to all of our routers uh, 
almost sim- uh, almost uh, instantaneous uh, no almost simultaneously and we can see all the output from different devices almost instantaneously and one more note is uh, is the actual order of execution so we can see output from first router then third router then second and then fourth but this order actually will vary if we execute it one more time it could be different here we have one three two four and now we have one four two three basically it tells us uh, that ansible tries to communicate tries to uh, ssh into our routers simultaneously and this order depends on how fast uh, our routers respond to our ansible control machine and uh, if we do it one more time this response uh, again could be different so if, if our if first router was first response it will be first here and the same for all other routers this is ansible default behavior which allows us to execute a task against all hosts in specified scope simultaneously but here is one tip if we add two more routers to our scope we will see a little bit different behavior let's do that I will execute it one more time and please again pay attention to the screen let's do it one more time and we can see that ansible goes through five devices pretty quickly then it slips for just a, a, a tiny time and then it uh, finishes with the last one router so again i will run it one more time please pay attention to first five routers then you will see that ansible will sleep for a little period of time and then it will finish with the last one with the last router so let's do it one more time It happens because Ansible doesn't actually run a task against all hosts at the same time. It divides hosts into a group of five devices and executes a task against uh, these groups serially. But it is a configurable parameter which is called forks and you can uh, and you can and probably will change it in your production environment since five isn't an, op- uh, an optimal value for many scenarios. So if we make change to our ansible.cfg file and run it one more time, we will get uh, rid of that uh, tiny, tiny pulse. Let's do that. We edit our ansible.cfg, specify a parameter called forks, and set it to 10, for example. Actually, we can set it to 6, and we will see a difference. Now we don't have that tiny pause. Ansible works with all six routers simultaneously. So, remember about that parameter and that ansible behavior well but but what if you want to execute your tasks in a serial manner that is also possible with ansible using play uh, directive called serial 
Number after that keyword tells Ansible how many hosts it can take and execute the whole play against simultaneously. After finishing with them, it will take new group and add and do the same with that new group. So let's tweak our playbook and examine results. I will copy my playbook called test1. I will call new playbook test2. And add to our play directive called serial and set it to 1. Basically, it tells Ansible to go through each host, through all our routers, in a serial manner. Let's execute this new playbook. Again, here is our playbook. And let's execute it. And you can see that uh, now Ansible's behavior is different. It goes through our host, through our routers, one by one, in a serial manner again. Let's do it again. And I think that uh, the difference is pretty obvious. Remember that serial directive affects the whole play. So we attach this parameter to our play, not tasks, not task. It is possible to serially execute a single task, but this configuration is a little bit obscure and requires deeper understanding of Ansible, of Ansible that we have uh, than we have uh, at the moment. Now let's take a little break, and I will see you in the next video.